I haven't done a video in a long time, but I got new batteries. I got this one last year. Uh, it's a 48 volt for OSAT race that I have. I'm still waiting to fix the motor on. Um, I got this one cheap because the brushes had blown apart. And it turns out the commutator was also gone. Um, which is hard to find the commutator. That's the problem right now. So, got the brushes and everything. But this one's a 20 light. So it's a 36 volt with a 1200 watt motor. Um, I got these lithium batteries off of eBay. Um, it was a custom order from China because the 36 only came with like a 15 amp BMS. These need about a 35 amp BMS, otherwise it'll just cut it out to protect the battery. Um, the battery can handle it, but if the BMS is too small, then it won't work. So, where are these ones? I bought two of these, because I've got two 48 volt ones. Uh, one's a race and one's just the Eco. But uh, these work great. These came with like a 40 amp BMS in them already. How a bigger BMS isn't going to harm it having it too small is it's just going to cut out so um yeah so i did some custom wiring bms is all part of this one or this one it's kind of separate um so i just got some anderson connectors i think those are anderson connectors and then did some custom wiring because i didn't want the same charging ports because if you plug the 36 or the 48 into the 36, that can do some damage. The BMS should cut it out, but for simplicity, I did. I took the old OSET one and hacked it and put it on the new charger, and then had to run this cable from here because the charging ports on there. So this one it comes with a lead on it, so you can put it attach it somewhere to the body panel um so we'll see how it does uh and then yeah the rest of the bikes and my mess are gonna get cleaned up and start riding pretty soon snow's melting fast so yeah any of you guys with these o sets these are one of the best upgrades to do um i think that battery was about 350 canadian with shipping and everything took two months you can sometimes find them already ready to go. You might pay a bit more. Um, but it's really, you can find the voltage. It's the BMS that's always smaller. Um, or this one, there was two of them, so I bought both of them. And I already had the bigger BMS. These ones were right in California. And I had them within like two weeks. So those ones work great where 36 volt is a bit more funky. Um, and yeah. And then the other bikes have uh, used, I did a video on those, used uh, K2 batteries in them, which were 24 volt, 10 amp hour batteries, and just put them in, and that's all I had to do for them. So, and put some separate leads on for charging, um, bypassing like the OSAT ones, because it goes through the controller and everything for some reason, don't know why, but far better than... Um, those junk SLA batteries they're cheap and you can get them everywhere but they're freaking heavy you only get maybe 20 well 30 to 50 minutes of ride time where these will get like two hours about and more consistent power so yeah definitely worth the upgrade if you got if you ride a lot with your kids and now they get tired before the bike gets tired so that's kind of the biggest point 